Welcome back to Atomic Bytes. We're going to go ahead and look at adding a scoring system in our collecting our box project. So let's open up our C Sharp script, collect objects, and we've got to add a few things. We're going to create a score variable up here in the very top of our C Sharp script. Um, it's an integer. Um, to keep track of the score, so it's a variable of type int. Then we're going to set the score equal to zero when the program starts. So that goes in our start method. And then when we collide, we want to add to the score and print out the score. And so in the console, when we run this in play mode, we want it to print this information and tell us what the score is. So we've got score plus um, we need to add one to the score variable. So we're going to get the score variable and then add one to it. So it'll tell us, it will tell the score and print the value next to it. Um, and then we also want to add score plus one. So each box that we collide with, it will add one to our overall score and keep a running total score for us. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this now, and then we will head back over into the Unity editor and wait for the script to update. And then in play mode, we want to pan around and find our box and then watch in the lower left hand corner and you can see the score value now registers one. Okay, so our score script works for a very basic scoring system to display in the console down here. But let's say we want more boxes. And at this point, because of all the properties being set on our boxes, we can simply duplicate with Control D or Command D, depending on your operating system and device. Um, but we can duplicate these boxes and rerun the program. And now when we collide or collect the boxes, not only will they be destroyed, but they'll add one to our overall score value each time we collide with them. So you can see down here in the bottom, that score is two. And then we'll go ahead and collide with box three and score goes to three. And they are also destroyed from the game scene in play mode. So hopefully that gets you started on creating your scoring system. Come back in the next episode for more.